Hey guys, so it's a Call of Duty Gamer here, and in this video I will be reviewing what was probably my favorite weapon in the Black Ops 3 beta. This is the Razorback SMG. Now, the Razorback SMG is an SMG that you unlock at level 4 in Call of Duty Black Ops 3, and many people do consider it to be their favorite or the best SMG. Now, it's kind of weird why it's good. I mean, it doesn't have any amazing qualities other than its range. It has great range, but the fire rate, the uh, shots to kill, um, aren't, like, amazing. It's just a accurate weapon with decent range, and a lot of people like to use it. We're going to dive into the stats here. Most of these are, like, hand-tested, so they might not be perfectly accurate. But uh, the Razorback's rate of fire is 636 rounds per minute. Now, this is... Fair, considered fairly slow, especially among SMGs. Um, this is a four to five shot kill weapon. It might be a six shot kill, kill weapon at extreme, extreme ranges, but I didn't really notice any situations where it was a six shot kill. Um, the four shot range is the range of the bridge on Hunted. So for those of you who aren't familiar with Hunted, it's uh, another example would be like maybe from one building on Nuketown to the other building. So about that range, the four shot range, it used to be a lot better, but uh, they did nerf it. But I still do really like this weapon. Um, next is the max weapon level is level 16. So you can rank this weapon all the way up to level 16 to unlock attachments and stuff like that. And my favorite attachments, um, I kind of like the red dot sight but I do not find that it is essential this gun has fairly good iron sights um, I find that the grip is a very good attachment because it makes this gun like a laser beam this gun can be a laser beam when you put the grip on it rapid fire I'd say is optional I don't find it makes too big of a, a difference when you put it on um, although because of the low rate uh, rate of fire I'm pretty sure rapid fire is a good attachment and uh, you might want to run it um, the other attachments are stock, I just like being able to move around and running gun with this weapon. My recommended perks are stuff like Fast Hand, Six Cents, uh, really just close quarters perks, Gung Ho. Um, you don't need to run a grenade. Um, streaks are obviously always up to you. If you're the kind of person that wants to go for low streaks like the UAV, Counter UAV, and maybe Care Package, you can do that. I personally like to run bigger streaks like the Hellstorm, Talon, and Hater. Although, at the time of this video, I didn't really have stuff like the wraps, which is something I would have ran if I had them. And stuff, stuff that I wrapped is something that I did run when I unlocked it later in the beta. Um, I hope you enjoyed this review, guys. This is my first weapon review in Call of Duty Black Ops. We're going to have many more weapon reviews coming out. Cur I'm currently working on a video which is compares Call of Duty Black Ops 3 to Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Um, it's taking me a while uh, just because it's like a 17 minute video and don't have too much time to, I have to get footage from both games, right? So I have to, I have plenty of footage from Black Ops 3, but uh, still working on some Advanced Warfare footage because I didn't really get any before. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Don't forget to subscribe down below for everything Call of Duty Black Ops 3. But that's about it for this video guys and thanks for watching.